What? A second helping of horror? What's inside the BAM Horror Box, the monthly horror subscription service? Didn't we just, didn't we just, didn't we just do a BAM Horror not too long ago? We did. Your memory doesn't have to be stretching that far back. I think we actually did one last week or so. We have gotten ourselves another BAM Horror Box, because if you've watched any of my frequent videos, thank you for that, by the way, you'll remember that I mentioned in those videos that just going to my post office, I was alerted to discover I had another three BAM boxes sitting there. Probably, again, the resulting of having the Postal Service now finally freeing up, maybe some additional staff was available, and then, you know, again, just siphoning through all the amount of stuff that was going through for the holiday season. People sending cards, people sending packages and parcels. Finally, the BAM boxes found their way to stream through all of that and arrive to my doorstep or arrive to my local post office. With that being said, what would one find inside the BAM horror box? Thank you very much for reading that script. I kept things small and pretty pretty clean, so it was easy to remember all that. BAM horror, as well as other BAM offerings, will deliver to your doorstep collectibles, proper replicas, and more importantly, autographs. Especially some of my favorite autographs to get from BAM are the ones attached to horror, horror films and horror television. But we're going to go go ahead and open up the newest offering. I can't help but look at the box and think that maybe a giant tire is driven over top of it. I hope at least it was a lighter car. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and open up the new box from BAM. We're going to just carefully grab Chet Cunnington III and slice the tape that's on the front of the box. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Wow, careful. Ooh, I did actually. I did cut myself too. Mmm, not a good idea. I knew I should have sliced it away. This might have been, yeah, yeah. I'm drawing a little bit of blood. But that's okay. A little bit of blood. It's not going to hurt anybody unless I was around a pack of vampires. Ooh, that blade was sharp. A lot sharper than I suspected it to be. Kept thinking I needed to change that blade, but I guess I don't really need to. Anyways, though, we've got ourselves some filling paper. We don't need that. We can put that to the side. Let's see what we have going on in here. I see a bunch of pins. How many pins are actually in here? Well, let's start with one of them. While I tend to my wound wound off camera, we've got ourselves the Bam Whore. The, now that looks like, is that Nosferatu or Count Olaf? I believe it is. The collectible enamel pin. Flip around to the back here. This is an exclusive singular run pin set. Once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made again. From the folks over at the Bam Box. Nice looking pin. Very, very cool. Especially if you like Count Olaf. Put that to the side. We have ourselves another pin. A variation. This is Nosferatu. He is, uh, of course, minus a hat. I don't know why they're throwing in all these extra pins, but I'm going to take it like a bandit and run with it. Oh, can't help but know something else in there, too. But yeah, two variations of uh, Nosferatu, Count Olaf. We can put those to the side. Do you guys remember not too long ago, because it didn't happen that long ago, when we did have a look at the BAM Horror Box for November 2021, I had said in that video, dang, I had missed out on the pin because the pin wasn't part of the box. I don't know if they just knew that, or maybe it was a case they didn't have the pin available for the time that that box came out. But sure enough, inside this box, going back to that original box that we looked at for November, we finally did get ourselves the Michael Myers 2018. Now, this one looks like it's slightly charred from Halloween Kills, not rather than the 2018 movie. Or it could be just shadowing, too. Could be could be both. But it's the Bam Horror Box pin of Michael Myers, now finally acquired from the one that I missed out on from before. And again, in all the cases, this fan art pin has been created exclusively for Bam Box, as inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There's a limited amount of pins created, and once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made again. Bam box. Put that to the side. I'm happy, 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 happy that we finally got that. Uh, what else we have in here? We have a Woods Woodsboro Police, I would imagine from Scream. Is that Dewey's pin? Very, very cool. Liberty and Justice for All. And it's a pin that you can actually wear. It's metal. It's a metal heavy pin. And there was also to go along with that. Oh, Deputy Riley. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, Deputy Riley. A nice little, uh, I guess it would go here and what her name, I'm trying to think of actually what where a cop puts his name badge. Would it be right below his badge? Would it be, would it be like that? 
or would it be over here? I think it's on this side, and then the badge is on this side. Somebody who's in a police, in a police force, or somebody who had had a lot of run-ins with the police, let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you. Put those to the side. We also have ourselves a card. It's a quite a terrifying looking card. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this individual? He looks like he is a ventriloquist dummy. Very terrifying though. The back. Congratulations. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists, Ali Artist. This card is part of this year's villain series. The artist responsible for producing such a scary looking nightmare inducing topic. Uh, the artist is Chris Meeks. Chris Meeks. Chris Meeks. And the, it's out of a limited run of 3,000 copies. Put that to the side. Finger's still bleeding, too. I'm going to have to tend to that. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's neat. This is Voo Dudes. Is that is that how it, it's Voo Dudes? I, that's, that's clever. I, I see what you guys did there. And this is a Voo Dudes of Chucky. But I guess it's supposed to be Chucky as a doll, which is... Let me further add to that before someone gets frantic down below in the comments section. It's sort of Chucky as sort of a Raggedy Ann voodoo doll. That's that's my guess at least. He's got himself a butcher knife. It's been signed by the artist. I think that's neat. That is really, really cool. I, I think I'm going to frame that right after this video. And then finally, of course, also inside, we've got ourselves uh, an, an autograph print. And I don't know who this is. It's... Is that D? Is that to Dante. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now I got, now I, I got it now. Joe Dante. So I, was, I thought that was a J O O J U or is that a D do Dante? No, no, it's Joe Dante from Gremlins. Very nice. Guess, guess you can see as well. It's got the Beckett certificate uh, QR code down below there. So they don't actually use any more the certificate messages on the back of the certificate of authenticity. Very nice. If you're a big fan of Gremlins, I'm a big fan of Gremlins. How many of you guys are big fans of Gremlins? Let me know down below in the comment section. On to now, let's pull out the insert card, the BAM monthly giveaway. For the BAM box presents the January monthly giveaway, you can still win the free signed uh, Robert England Freddy Krueger Funkos. Again, if you had watched my other video when we did the unboxing, I still have. Time has elapsed. And I have not yet moved that box of cereal. I don't know how many ants are probably in that right now. I really hope I don't have an infestation. It's one thing I really don't like, especially in my own personal space, is it infestation. Uh, I'm going to have to totally check that cereal box. Anyways, you can get a signed box of Funkos. Not sure whether it's going to have contained inside the cereal or not, but it's signed by Robert England. You can also get yourself a boy's version of Starlight as a Funko Pop signed by Aaron Moriarty. Or you can get yourself an autographed print of Linda Carter. Very nice. How do you win all such prizes? First of all, you can scan the QR code. Winners will be announced 02122. Not sure again if I'm going to be able to meet that deadline. Put that to the side. Then for our featured celebrity, the BAM featured celebrity this time around is Joe Dante. Oh, wait, no. Let me just double check here. Doesn't that not say Joe Dante? And yet it, here it says Teddy Sears. I can. I don't think that looks like Teddy Sears. I would have just guessed that to be Joe Dante. Well, according to the card here, it's Teddy Sears, who is known for Gremlins, The Howling, and Small Soldiers. I think I, I feel like something was changed between the printing of this and the signing of this. What do you guys think? Yes, I don't think that's. I don't think that's Teddy Spears. Sears. Anyways, let's check again the insert card that came included for the box. Celebrity autograph for December 2021. Never feed him after midnight. Do you consider Gremlins a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? We choose Christmas. We are so excited to bring you the autograph of Gremlins director Joe Dante. Huh? See, yeah, so must have been something. Maybe they were trying to get Teddy Sears. Unfortunately, he just wasn't available for the autograph session. They ended up getting Joe Dante. I, I, I prefer Joe Dante myself. I like, I like Teddy Sears, but I prefer Joe Dante. Different ones to choose from or different ones that they would have chosen for you. This, the original poster would have been fun. But yeah, nice selection that they gave us here. Collector's pin this month. Pin is inspired by the silent horror film Nosferatu. Nosferatu, designed by artist Brian Romero. Be on the lookout for the Chase Glitter set. Also contained inside was the artist Alley. This month, artist Ken Salas. Salinas? Salinas created this crazy art pin inspired by Child's Play. Magazine or prop? 
for this time around, we actually got ourselves a prop. I think last time, last time we got ourselves that Rue Morgue magazine that featured, um, who was on the front of it? Oh, Jack Frost. That's right. I don't know why I just, I seem to hit some obstacle right there trying to think of that. Yeah, Jack Frost. This time around, though, we did get ourselves a prop. This month's prop is a replica Woodsboro police badge and the name badge from the popular horror flick Scream. You can see right there. And then finally, inside, we had the artist select card. This sketch card focuses on Mr. Chuckleteeth from the X-Files. I do not remember. How do I not? I watched X-Files all the time. Every Friday night at like 9 o'clock on Fox. I do not remember I do not remember Mr. Chuckleteeth. Anybody remember Mr. Chuckleteeth? I should, for how frightening that is. Uh, drawn by the artist Chris Meeks. Uh, check out the community. Find the one-of-a-kind hand-drawn sketch cards. Quite a lot of stuff going on here for December 2021. Got ourselves an autograph from Joe Dante. Got ourselves an artist print. A prop from Scream. Considering we just now have Scream, the newest Scream. Scream. Do we call it Scream? Are we calling it Scream 5? Return to Scream, Scream Again. Scream Again would have been fun. I think it's, I'm just calling it Scream 5, which is out right now. If you have seen it, please don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for anybody down below. But yeah, quite a lot of cool stuff going on here for the December 2021 box from Bam Horror. If you guys are interested and would like to get prop replicas, autographs, and more, you can click the link down below in the, in the video description that will take you on over to Bam Box's website. From there, you can choose either to have Bam Horror or if you'd like to have something different instead, you can choose a whole bunch of different BAM boxes that they have available over on their website. Again, the link will be down below in the video description. If also as well that you're enjoying the content to this channel, a shameless plug to this channel, and you haven't yet done it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If again, you are liking what you're seeing here on this channel, turn on as well the bell notification so you get those friendly reminders of whenever new videos are gonna be popping up. And a friendly reminder from the person that's behind the camera, just an FYI, it's gonna be a ton of new videos coming your way. So make sure, yes, you're keeping your peepers peeled. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.